Uh, we're going to do a little demonstration of our ultrasonic hardness test of the TCM U2. The most often asked question about uh, testing devices is just how accurate they are and how easy they are to use. So we're going to show you that today, how easy this device is and how accurate it is. I have two NIST traceable test blocks here. Uh, NIST is the National Institute uh, Laboratory for uh, Testing uh, here in the USA. And uh, you can see on the side of the block that I have laser engraved 64.31 and then a plus or minus 0.5 is the tolerance in HRC for the test block. This is a 47.3 and it's a plus or minus 1 HRC for accuracy. And then just for example I've got a part here, the tang is softer on the tap of course, the threads are flame hardened much harder this area as well. And I'm just going to show you how to do a test on it. So. Let's do the first test, 63.7, I've got the device set up now so that every test that I do is the actual result, I could also set it up to do averaging. So if you do three tests it's going to give you the average of those three tests and give you an even more accurate result. So you can see here the test block is 64.3, its tolerance is plus or minus 0.5, we're right on the money. Here we're going to do a test. 47.6 and the test block is 47.3 and I could keep on you know doing more tests of course. With the probe um, it has its own memory inside where the calibrations are stored so the probes are interchangeable with different testers. This is a 50N probe which means it requires 12 and a half pounds of force pressing down to give an accurate reading. We include the foot of the, de the uh, device which we call the puck or the foot um, other companies do charge for it. We include uh, uh, the uh, rechargeable battery charger, uh, heavy duty case for the device, communication software, and a cable USB, you can see on top here, to communicate to a PC to print the data. And of course it has its own memory where you can store multiple tests. So if I screw off the end of the puck, here I have got two V groups, a larger one and a smaller one clearly for different uh, cylinders. On my tap, it's cylindrical of course, so I'm going to use the smaller of the two and I do a test. I know the tang is very, very soft and here it is actually doing a test and it's showing at 17.2. The device we uh, certify for accuracy down to 20 HRC up to about 65, so very hard down to soft. You can see the device can also actually check lower, but you're going to get more variations at the very low end. I just wanted to show that it's going to show very soft. I can also screw the whole puck off the end, and here it shows the shroud of the device. Here is the Vickers diamond tip, and when we apply our force, it pushes the rod up inside the part with the diamond tip, and it gives a result. So I can actually freehand this as well on the part, press, and there it's showing that this area is extremely hard. So we're getting a 65 HRC. So a very, very fast, accurate, easy to use uh, product. We can test parts like this, or this, or parts up to very large heavy parts like molds or even bigger. And if the part is extremely well supported, right down to one to two millimeters of thickness. Um, by supported I mean you can't just have it sitting on a table, it's got to be hitting, sitting on some sort of a uh, better support, perhaps in a vice or so on. So there we go, extremely accurate, very fast, very easy to use.